Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the previous year coding questions which were asked in TCS Ninja to TCS Digital Upgrade exam. Guys, this is part three of this series. Part one and part two are already on my channel. So guys, make sure that you watch those videos as well after watching this video because you will be able to know that what type of questions are getting asked in these type of exams. Okay, and guys, this is part three part 4, part 5, part 6, till, till 22nd March, lot of videos regarding these previous year questions will be made. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button as well as the like button for this video. And also do join my Telegram group also. The links are in the description box. I will be posting regularly different different study materials for these type of exams. Okay, so let's start this video. And before starting the video, please hit that like button. Guys, let's just quickly discuss about the next level by an academy. It is India's gaming based hiring platform wherein you play coding competitions among your friends and random app users. Based on these coding competitions, you are given a professional rating and based on your rating, different different jobs on this platform get unlocked. Guys, next level is organizing a league that will happen on 11th March 2023. It is a one day competition wherein you can play multiple coding comp competitions on the same day and based on your performance or rank on that day, different different prizes will be given to you. For example, first, win, uh, first rank will get Apple MacBook Pro, second will get Apple iPad Air, third will get Amazon Kindle Paperwhite and up to 100 candidates based on their performance will get Amazon vouchers Okay, of different different prizes. So this will happen on 11th March 2023. Guys, next level seasons have already started. The seasons are monthly competitions and based on your performance on that month, you will be given a rank and based on the rank, you are allotted different different prizes like MacBook Air, Apple iPad Mini and Amazon Kindle. So these are the winners from the February season. The March season has already started. So make sure that you are going now and downloading the app and taking part in this March season so that you can also get the chances for winning these prizes. Guys, next level has introduced a feature of power ups wherein when you lose a game, you can use power ups to restore your rating to the original one. You can earn power ups by inviting your friend. So guys, go the links are in the description box, download the app and play coding competitions and get placed. Okay, so guys, as you all know, first of all, we will be discussing the question, then the approach of this question, and then finally, we will be writing the code for the same. So let's just start with the question first. Question here is, con consider one string as input. You have to check whether the strings obtained from the input string with a single backward and single forward shifts are equal or not. If they are the same, then print one, otherwise print zero. So here, the question is very simple. You will be given an input string. Now what you have to do, you have to, uh, you have to move that string one time forward and same string one time backward and the two strings that will be obtained that is from forward shift as well as from the backward shift. If those two strings will be equal, then you will have to print one. Otherwise you will have to print zero. Okay. So let's just see here hint is also given that what is backward shift and what is forward shift. Let's just read that first. So here backward shift is a single circular rotation of the string in which the first character becomes the last character and all the other characters are shifted one index to the left. Okay. For example, A, B, C, D, E becomes B, C, D, E, A. That is, that is the uh, backward shift is a single, what is the first character becomes the last character. That is here A, B, C, D, E was the original string. Now we have done backward shift, one time backward shift. That means that this particular A will now move towards the end of the string. Okay, end of the string and all these strings, all the remaining string, all the remaining characters will move one index to the left. That is like this as B was on the first index. Now B has come on the zeroth index. So these characters have moved one index to the left and the first character has gone to the last. So this is one what a backward shift means. Okay, similarly, a forward shift. What is a forward shift? Forward shift is a single circular rotation of the string in which the last character becomes the first characters and all the other characters are shifted to the right. For example, again, taking the example of A, B, C, D, E. Okay. Now after one forward shift, it will become E, A, B, C, D. Okay. So what will, what will happen? This last character will become the first character and all the rest of the characters will move one index to the right. That is now A was at zero index. Now A will have, now A has become on the first index, all the characters have moved towards the right. Okay. So this is what a forward shift means. Now, when the input, when the input string is performed a backward shift operation, a string will be obtained. 
and when a st input string will be performed a forward shift operation then another string will be obtained if both string 1 and string 2 are equal then we will have to print 1 otherwise we will be printing 0 okay so i hope now this particular question is clear to you okay now let's just see uh, some of the input examples so that the things can become clear to you okay so let's just see first example just a second so here the input string is this okay so our main string we can say our main string is equal to this string now what we'll do we will first of all once perform a forward shift so performing forward shift will give us what string that is the first uh, last character will become the first character and rest all the characters will move one thing towards the uh, one index towards the right this is what a forward shift is similarly we will perform the backward shift on this input string so what will happen this first character will come to the last and rest of the characters will move one index to the left okay this will come here and this last is s so now we have got our forward string as well as we have got our backward string so now we will compare these two strings if these two strings will be equal then we will return one otherwise we will return zero so in this case these two strings are not equal therefore we will we will be returning zero as our output let's just see another example another example is just a second let me just remove this explanation okay another example is what is our main string our main string is mama okay next is we will be performing forward shift in forward shift our last character will become the first character that is a will come in starting and the remaining will move one index towards the right similarly backward shift on the main string what it will become the first character will become the last character and rest of the characters will move one index towards the left that is this am now we will compare our forward string with the backward string you can see here both are same okay both are same and we, therefore we have written zero here so i hope now with the example more clarity is there in uh, more clarity is there with you for this question okay now let's just quickly see the approach of this question and then we'll moving we will moving forward towards the coding part of this question and if you have not liked the video till now please like it and do subscribe for more such videos let's just see approach okay so now let's just see the approach here our input string is ma ma okay so first of all for the forward shift what we will do see forward shift means that the last character will be coming to the first this is the first point of forward shift so what we'll do it is very simple we will just pick the last character of this input string and we will add in our forward string like a we have added here now the remaining characters that is mam are remaining are still remaining so forward shift means that each of this each of this character will now move one index towards the right one index towards the right but what we can do is that we will just plug all these characters excluding the last character this can be done using a substring function inbuilt substring function in languages in it is present in c plus plus also it is present in python also java also all in these all these language a substring function is present wherein we can pluck out a substring of the string so for the forward string we have just taken out the last character first appended in the forward string now the remaining character that is from the zeroth index till the length minus one index we will be taking length minus two index because length minus one index will be the last character only that is this so now remaining characters we will use we will be plucking out using substring method and we will simply appending them here i know it's a bit tricky to understand but after this approach i will be writing the code many things will become clear when you will see the code now similarly th similar thing we will do with the backward shift so in backward shift what is happening this first character will become the last character and remaining of the characters are moving towards the left of the index so again using the substring function that i will i will be showing you in the code what we'll do we'll plug the remaining of the string okay the remaining of the string we will be plucking we'll put it we will put it at the starting of backward string and just we will be adding at the last the first character that is the m character will be adding here just the last character so this particular string has come from the substring function and last character we have added manually similarly here the first character we have added manually and the last characters have come from the substring function okay so this was the approach it's very simple but i know it's a bit bit tricky to understand let's just now jump towards the code it will become more things will be become clear to you 
okay so guys for the saving time i have already written the code it's very simple it's just of 10 lines let me just walk you through line by line okay i have written this code in c++ so first of all we will have to include these libraries it is very important to use inbuilt functions and yes we can use inbuilt functions in the exams it makes things easier okay so uh, the library that i have included is bits slash stdc plus plus dot h it is in c plus plus code i am talking about if you are using java and python different different libraries are there in different different languages so you will have to google them for your uh, references okay okay so now our main function has started so first of all i have declared string str and c in str this is our input string that we are talking about now what we have to do we have to first uh, forward shift the uh, input string and then we will have to do backward shift the input string and if the forward shift shift input string is equal to the backward shift input string then we will have to return one otherwise we will return have to return false so we have taken two strings here string forward and string backward okay initially they are empty now let just let just suppose that our input string is this one that is ma ma okay now i have taken n that is that will store the length of the input string now now we have to find the forward string that is what will be the string when we uh, when we perform forward rotation one time forward rotation when we perform then what will be the string this will be stored in this particular forward variable okay so now what is forward rotation forward rotation is that that the last <coughs> that is the uh, last character of the input string nice has now become the first character of the forward string so here is the last character of the input string this denotes the last character of the input string that is str of n minus 1 because indexing is starting from 0 so therefore last character means str of n minus 1 next is plus okay so forward shift means that last character will be now become the first character like we have seen here and the remaining characters and the remaining characters after it that is these are the remaining characters after this character that is a plus mam okay a plus mam this is how we have to do so original string was this so last character has become now the first character and now we have to find out the remaining characters how we will find out the remaining characters using this substring we will simply have to pluck out this substring simply have to pluck out this substring okay and we will have to append that substring after this a after this character we will have to append that substring how we will find out the substring it will be str dot sub str again it's an inbuilt function in c plus plus in different different uh, uh, languages there will be different different functions okay you will have to google it for yourself okay now this particular sub str function takes two argument first is the sub uh, starting index of the substring starting index of the substring and second element is the length of that substring that how much length of that substring is required so here we have to pluck out these particular this particular substring now what is the starting index of this uh, substring it is zero that is m is at zeroth index and what is the length of this substring it is length of this string length of this string minus one that is four minus one that is three n minus one so n is n is the length of this string and starting from zero how many length of length we want for the substring it is n minus one that is from starting from m till here this only we want and we will be appending it after the first last character of the input string so after this operation our forward string has came to us we found out the forward string next is the backward string now this particular input string we have to perform the backward rotation what will we how we will do backward rotation that is the first character will now become the last character in the backward rotation so here we have taken the first character and now it has become the last character here because after plus in the end we are append the, appending the first character okay now now we have to pluck out the remaining substring how we will pluck out the remaining substring that is we will be using the string substr function again we will be it will be taking two parameters first parameters is the index from where the substring will be starting so from where our substring is starting it is from this index ama this is our substring it is starting from first index and what is the length of the substring again the length of the substring is n minus 1 only that is 3 here 3 in this case ama so now we have got the forward string now we have got the backward string we will simply compare these two strings if they are equal we will see out one if they are not equal we will see out zero so this was the entire code i hope you have understood it let's just run it on the input so ma ma will we all know will return true that is one in this case 
let just see for the another example uh, where is the another example okay so mma has written one now let's just see for the another example it will return zero and as if you have not liked and subscribed this channel now please subscribe it it gives immense confidence for me to make such videos and do join the telegram groups the links are in the description box here you can see that this input has given us zero so guys this particular uh, this particular code will pass all the test cases that will be given to you and do subscribe this channel and do share this video among your friends so that they can also be prepared for the 22nd of march exam and guys again the next level app link is in the description box it is the best way to get placed at current currently okay so do download the app all the links are present in the description box thank you for watching this video